The second page attached is the uh, the designated district holidays. Again, we'll we approve these at the same time in February. Um, the one, same as this year, right? Yeah, the ones that notice is uh, July 4th, Independence Day falls on a Saturday, so we requested July 3rd. Um, we're not going to honor Veterans Day because we'll do sc uh, school functions that celebrate that uh, state holiday, and then what we'll do is uh, we'll yeah. use that extra day on Thanksgiving, which has been the practice here for several years. Um, and I believe that's it, of, of any kind of somewhat of a change. So just the first read. And how close did you say these are aligned with our feeder schools? We're going to start. I thought, uh, from what I understood, District 96 had not completed their calendar yet. Their committee was meeting, but they followed pretty close with our calendar. District 95 was starting on the 18th. District 94, Camarque, was one week behind us on the start date. Uh, winter break was within a day. Uh, some of them will, will start their break sooner, uh, but they'll, they'll come back on the Monday or Tuesday the 5th. Or we'll come back on Wednesday the 6th. Um, and the spring breaks were identical. Okay. I know that was asked before, so. No, I like the, the fact that spring break should align with the Easter break for parochial schools, too, which it hasn't in, in years past. And I want to commend you for changing that August. Getting us I a think couple it's, extra it's days. a couple extra days, and I think it's a reasonable trade off in the winter, you know, if you have to adjust that. It's time back is not a big deal compared to people's vacations and things so okay thank you okay let's see